One of the things we want to discuss today is carrots. It's just a wide range of varieties and types of carrots, from the sort of standard yeah. wear carrot, long rooted carrot, to the round rondo style. Yeah. And then we've got the Chantenay style, that we've yeah. got a little type here. It's growing ever more in popular rarity. Yes, yeah, very much so. Then we've got all sorts of colours as well. What are you growing this year, Debbie? This year um, I'm growing purple haze, yellowstone, um, samurai red, and um, rainbow carrot. Reasoning? The colour. Colour, yeah. Flavour. It's just, again, we like to grow something that people can talk about but they can't just buy in the shops. Uh, and also because we grow a lot in, into uh, containers as well, but I can actually pick them at the restaurant so they're as fresh as possible, uh, so we can serve them literally from, from the ground straight to the customer, right. um, which is, is really important for us yeah. that we keep them as fresh as possible. One of the things we've discussed a number of yeah. times through different medias um, was actually whether we could grow them yes, in yeah. containers, mm. um, either sale type trays, or whether we could actually achieve Growing them in a pot for the table, yeah, actually is achievable. Yeah, well, that's, that's what I'm after. I, yeah. I need as, as less travel as possible. Yeah, so they're there's, literally well, they're yeah. straight out the ground. Yeah. There's a number of varieties on the market now. The ones we're talking about today is Atlas, okay. of which I'm going as well. Yeah, and a variety called Ideal, a round variety called Rondo, which is available as well. Actually, by sowing two seeds in each cell keeping them moist, it will actually produce you a small baby carrot veg that you'll be able to either harvest here, yeah. take down in bunches, or actually have at the restaurant. Okay. And if we do decide, you know, if you do decide to grow it into pots, you place that on the table and yeah. do the same. Okay. So uh, let's say there's quite a few types of carrots, quite a few varieties, but I think, I know, I don't think, I mm. know, we actually can help you guys out by giving you the right selection of varieties for you to achieve what you're looking for. Excellent. Okay, brilliant. Carrots are best grown in finely raked soil that's not been manured the season before. Create a drill, sow the seed thinly and carefully cover with soil. Water, then water regularly and keep weed free. However, you can grow in pots. For this, use a three litre pot filled with fine compost. Sow the seeds thinly on top and then lightly cover with compost. Either method, thin to allow 50 millimetres between plants using thinnings as a baby carrot. Simon Holstone of the Elephant Restaurant at Torquay. I'm here with Peter from Dobies of Devon and I'm going to be showing how I've used the carrots that we grow in the farm. Okay? So what we do a lot with the, the carrot, uh, Peter, is sometimes they're quite bland, but we want to get the sweetness into them. So what I've got here is the carrot, a nice young carrot, peeled down to the shape I want it, and I've cooked it in uh, a little bit of duck fat, star anise, orange, and a little bit of butter. So we get all these nice flavours going back into it. You, you were saying that you don't get the sweetness, is that just because of the variety you've chosen? Or? I, I think sometimes it depends on the season, yeah. doesn't yeah. it? You know, we, we go in and out, so yeah. Yeah. you know, they can be a little bit yeah. woody or whatever. Yeah. But this way, we're maintaining that we get a consistent flavour right. of the carrot right. and the so dish all the way through. Exactly. Some there, are, there are obviously some high sugar content. Yeah, yeah. We'll use that here. We do fishy yeah. carrots and things right. like that. So what I'm serving it with is this is a dice of celeriac with uh, a puree of wild garlic. So we call it like a fake risotto because it looks like a little bit like a risotto. Uh, we've got some spring lamb, some lamb sauce, and then uh, some wild garlic crisps. So is that your own lamb? These are our own lambs, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so quite a bit of the dish still then is sort of... As much from the farm, the wild garlic we, we forest, uh, forage around the farm, yeah. just on the headquarters yeah. of it. The celeriac we haven't grown this year, but it's something that we intend to. give it a go? Yeah, definitely. And do a lot of your recipes come from the sort of what comes from the farm or your ideas? It comes from what's in season, yeah. what's been brought to us from the farm, yeah. uh, and how we can use it. A lot of the time, Debbie will bring stuff over, we're like, yeah. okay, now we need to think of a new yeah. dish. So this, this is how it, how it works for that's us. That's one, that, that, that's one of the issues that when you're growing your own at home, yeah. I've got all this material, what do I do with it? And we don't want to waste anything, yeah. so, we, you know, so we, we really do yeah. so look trying, after. Trying to convince the people that are growing it, actually you can do something with it that's a bit different. Exactly. A little bit of sauce. 
and then all I've done is I've got a, a wild garlic crisp. Yeah. And how's that done? That's through the microwave. It's almost like deep fried in a sense. Right. A little bit of oil, salt, microwave. How long does it take to produce that? 30 seconds. 30, just blast, yeah. So we've got the lamb, wild garlic and yeah. celeric risotto, the lovely carrot cooked to the orange and star anise. Lovely dish. Nice.